This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by the Sussex County Association of Realtors. Did you know that according to the magazine Psychology Today, the average person will spend 90,000 hours at work over their lifetime? 90,000 hours? 90,000 hours. Hours. I would venture to guess that a lot of those workers spend time dreaming of the day they can retire. <laughs> Perhaps so, Jimmy, but a growing number of baby boomers who are hitting their retirement years are staying at work. And money isn't always the reason why. Your salary does. Uh, okay. Dr. Hal right. Kaplan so, spent know, more than 40 years working as a gastroenterologist and hospital administrator. Last year, he decided to hang up his stethoscope. Uh, I then managed to stay retired for six full weeks but I wasn't any good at it. Preauricular. So he decided to return to work and now teaches medical students. It really isn't work. It, it, it's doing what I enjoy. Well, so here's his scapula. Okay. It turns out a significant number of people plan to keep working in their retirement years, not because they have to, but because they want to. A 2012 AARP survey of future retirees found 31% plan to stay at work because they enjoy it up from 21% in 2007. People are remaining at work because they like what they're doing. They want to make a contribution. They want to remain active, both physically and mentally. Money is still the number one reason people work during retirement, but Kaplan is fortunate because he doesn't need to do it for the money. And he plans to stick with it for now. It kind of depends in part on, on whether uh, my, my brain and my body continue to function as well as they are now. He wants to stay until at least 2017 when the students he's working with graduate. Now, according to the survey, 72% of future retirees plan to keep working in their golden years, either full-time or part-time. But there are others, Jimmy, who may be looking to fully retire. Well, yeah, and, and with all that there is to do here on Delmarva, from the beaches to the wildlife to the proximi proximity to the major cities, it really is a great place to spend your golden years. Now, Marvel Life Sean Stryker joins us now from Heritage Shores, one of the many great places to retire in Sussex County. Sean? Yeah, well, Jimmy and Lisa, many people think when they're ready to retire, they need to pack up and head south, but that's simply not the case. They don't need to go any further than Sussex County. I'm here with Tommy Cooper and Brenda Rambo with the Sussex County Association of Realtors. Now, Tommy, I want to start with you. Now, you're telling me that Sussex County is becoming a very popular destination for retirees. Yes, yeah, Sean. Delaware and particularly Sussex County has received a lot of publicity on the fact that it's a wonderful place to retire due to the tax advantages. It's recognized as one of the lowest property taxes in the nation. Once somebody's been here three years in residency, they can apply for even an additional discount. There's no tax on their first $12,500 or retirement or 401k, and it makes it just a great package. We also at the beach area have got the beautiful beaches, clean water, fishing, golf, and when people come down, they see that as well as our renowned health care. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just a good place for them to come over and put their money. So you mentioned a lot of things. What do you think is that main draw? I think the impetus is the taxes. Mm -hmm. uh, people can cash out of a home where they may have fifteen dollars or $20,000 tax liability a year here duplicate or have a nicer home for $1,200 a year in total property taxes. So upgrade a little bit and save some money while doing so. Not only the upgrade, but they're upgrading to new housing with low maintenance, which saves them more money. And, and the retirees are on a fixed budget, so they're, they're looking for that to enable their lifestyle. And just because they're retiring doesn't mean they're any less active. There's a lot to do here in Sussex County. Oh, absolutely, and that's why they call it active adult living. Uh, we've got the greatest offshore fishing around. We've got buku golf courses, uh, the quality of living, clean air, and the health care that we're renowned for down here is uh, something that they're thinking about in their older age that they're probably going to need. So all those, those fishing and the beaches, that's more southern Sussex County, but in the western part of the county, that's where, where you're located, and there's a lot of draw in this area as well. Yes, there's beautiful farmland and country living. We have plenty of housing developments, just like where we are today, Heritage Shores. It is an over 55 community. 
Um, so for the over 55, those types of communities, I guess those houses are more friendly to maybe the aging generation. Yes, first floor master bedrooms, some just first floor, but we also have larger four bedroom homes that uh, enable the grandchildren and children to come and visit. So you can have the family come during the day and then when they leave, you get your quiet time. Absolutely. There's so much to do over on this side of the county that people don't realize. We have golf, uh, swimming, uh, local wineries, breweries, farm to table restaurant eating. And the location is great. It is. And we are an hour and a half from two major international airports and big cities. So there's just so much that you can do. There, you're really selling me on this area on Sussex County in general. That's right. We're the new little Florida. Well, I, the new little Florida, I actually really like that. Jimmy and Lisa, even though I'm not quite at the retirement age, I think this is a place I could uh, settle down. If you want more information on what you heard, you can visit our website, WBOC.com, and click on our picture at the top of the page. Back to you guys. Well, Delmarva really is a great place to live, Sean. Thank you. So maybe you are retired or you have plans to, or maybe you just have some extra time on your hands and you want to change up the look of your house. Well, Jimmy has more on that. We're all looking for ways to spruce up our home to make it a little more homey. And oftentimes that means renovating it. Well, these days there are do-it-yourself websites that offer you a ton of ideas from, from countertop to tile trends. But before you get to work, you want to make sure that the project that you're about to take on isn't going to leave you with renovators remorse. So joining us today to tell us about the top home improvement projects that pay off is lifestyle expert Leah Ingram. Leah, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thanks for having me today. Okay, so Leah, I've seen some numbers. Help me out with this a little bit. I've seen some numbers where the average kitchen renovation is $22,000. Is there something I can do to add value to the kitchen without spending that kind of money? Absolutely, and real estate experts and home improvement experts will tell you that you will continue to get the biggest return on investment in your home if you focus those renovation efforts in the kitchen and the bath. So if that $22,000 heart-stopping number is too much for you, you know, you could just replace the countertops. Doing that is about $3,500, which is a lot better than $22,000. And in fact, the two most popular renovations in the kitchen are replacing the countertops and updating the cabinets. Okay, so th that's a lot better number. So we're talking kitchen countertops. Is there one kind of countertop that's better than the others? Granite continues to be a popular material, although a lot of people are going with quartz, which gives the same appearance as granite, and I understand is, is a lot less uh, work to maintain and whatnot. What I advise is that you choose a countertop that works within your budget and frankly, it's going to be a classic for years to come so that if you do end up selling your home, you're not going to have to rip that countertop out and put something new in. Okay, well, I got to tell you the truth. I'm a wood grain fan. What about butcher block? I'm going to say granite. <laughs> I'm going to say you should probably go with granite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sticking with the granite then. Okay, let me ask you about the farm sink thing. Is that a safe direction to go? I think farmhouse sinks can work in a house that can justify a farmhouse sink. Let's say you have a farmhouse type of home, but what you really need to do is, while it's fun to look at what's trendy and go on Pinterest and watch HGTV, is since I write about saving money, that's what I would recommend you focus on. Where are you gonna get your biggest bang for your home improvement buck? So that's why before I do any home improvement projects in my house, I use Cost Guide. I figure out what homeowners in my area are paying for these renovation projects, and then I can plan accordingly. So let me give you a for example. We needed to update our master bath, and Cost Guide told me that a new bathtub installation was about $3,000. Well, I didn't want to pay $3,000. So I ended up figuring out that hiring somebody through Home Advisor to reglaze my tub would give me the look of a brand new tub for a tenth of the price. So that definitely worked for my budget. Okay, very interesting. All right, so, so we've, we've heard about the tile 
in the bathrooms. Are there any other must-haves that we should consider for the bathroom? There are four popular ways that Americans are updating their bathrooms. They are doing something to upgrade their shower or their tub. Many of them are installing those freestanding glassed in showers. And they're also looking to replace the flooring and update the fixtures and the faucets. And subway tile still continues to be very hot. I'm glad you said that. I was getting ready to ask. I grew up in a bathroom that had the subway tile in the bathroom. Is that a safe direction still to go? I think it's a classic look. We actually have it in my daughter's bathroom when we renovated their bathroom and took out the, you know, old blue, 19, actually theirs was pink, the old pink 1960s tub. We decided to replace it with a freestanding shower and we did subway tile. I mean, I think it looks classic. And boom, there you go. Leah Ingram, lifestyle expert. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Now, if you'd like to read more about what Leah just had to say on the top home improvement projects that pay off, just go to WBOC.com and click on our picture at the top of the page. Well, something else that'll make your home a little more homey is a furry four-legged friend. Coming up next, how you can make one of these adorable friends a part of your family with our Pet Connect. But first, just moments ago, we talked about retirement. These dogs have retired too after spending years protecting soldiers overseas. You're going to learn about a push to give all military service dogs a hero's welcome on American soil. Delmar Live will be right back. <laughs>